red. What are you looking at for colors? Or how many isn't this a California thing? How are you? Tim, good. terrible. Aaron, you this is a California thing. It's That's what a, I just said to him. I don't know. I don't know about that. He said it's he a California doing? thing. It's gross. Yeah. Ninja Turtle toes is what it is. Dude. He said That's how California people wear their flip flops. <laughs> that is terrible. You guys ready for tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah. Eric, yeah. yeah. you're not doing the stretch right now. It's too nice. I'm lined up on the top triangle. Alright, good. Three hugs, five hits. Four, one, one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Didn't want to kick it away. Some of that you look like you're missing something. Uh, White Sox, maybe? Something looks weird. It might be that. Five. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Five. We enjoyed the last win. It was big for our, our club and our players and our fans. And, and Quickly we switched modes to San Jose, which especially in the last few games, they're dangerous, they, especially at home. Um, they're, they're credible, they're, they have some dangerous attackers. We always have a lot of respect for Wondolowski and what he can do, but they can hurt you in many different ways. They have team speed, they got some guys who can go 1v1. So we've really had to shift to, to our next opponent, which we know will be difficult and give us everything. Yeah, look, we're excited to see Derek Etienne from the start. He's been a guy that's training well, scoring goals, and he gets on the run. He gets on the move, and, and um, that challenges back line. So to see Derek get, get the opportunity is great. To run back Alex after a great performance against Atlanta is great to see. He, he understands what we do with and without the ball, and he fights. He gives everything to the team. And having Brad back out there as our leader up the field is awesome. Um, yeah, so we're, we're excited to get some fresh legs and some, some guys some, some minutes. And uh, again, if we can get close to duplicating, replicating some of these performances, we'll, we'll be thrilled down the stretch. Move your feet, move your feet! Go! Go! Boyaka! Boyaka! So things like the most wins in franchise history, the most points in franchise history, already clinching a bye in the opening round of the playoffs, whether you're first or second, um, signs of a great season. But I know you and most, most of everyone else who's involved with this team, whether it's staff, ownership, players, all feel like there's still a lot left to play for. Some of the numbers and records uh, you know, and, and we'll reiterate to the team what's really important. You know, the, the, those, that information is, is exactly what it is. It's numbers, it's data, and, and it does nothing for you um, in all reality. It certainly doesn't even really make you feel good five years from now, 20 years from now. I can speak from experience. What matters is um, showing up when, when it matters, being able to execute in, in, in big moments and in, in big games, and we've done that. And then what really matters, of course, for this team is, is really going after a trophy the right way, which is going to take, again, maturity, understanding this time of year what, what, what's required, and that every game is you have to reset and, and prove yourself every time. Brock Lesnar, Tyson. I'll take Tyson. I'll take Tyson over Lesnar. We need a heavyweight. But, but. Tim, are we fighting MMA or boxing? Here we go, guys. Come on. So, look, before you guys go, is it going to be a 4 one 4 one not sure. It, it shapes up. It could be a five in the back. And the good thing is we've played our last two games against five in the back. Guys, the field is hard. That's what I'm told. A little bit slippery. It's windy. Take advantage of set pieces. We love the crowd and the goalkeeper. Don't foul. And just let's go out there and go. Forward. Let's go, boys. Come on. All right, guys. I'm trying to set up the break. I see a Prius just driving by. Sweet, sweet. Hold on. Get that back up.
Alex, set the tone for us, huh? Set the tone. It's so important that we, like, if you just break it down, logically, you know, I'm very logical. You just, you know, when you say have a good start, you just have to jump all over the game. You have to jump all over the game, and which puts it on our terms. We know in big games we show up, yet it's games like this, games like today, that we get tripped up, but not today. 14 for 14, let's have a great performance. Come on. Left to right on the old-fashioned radio dial. Here's Muil, leaving for Etienne, and his shot dings off the top of the crossbar. What we feel best about is the way we came out and pushed the game from the start. And, and even the last few road games, we've we've let some points slip and, and maybe didn't approach it with the right mentality. So we feel good about the way we came out and, and uh, took care of business in the first half. Red Bulls in San Jose, scoreless, 29th minute. Here's BWP. Good ball across. Murillo, 20 yards out. Murillo looking. He will take a shot. This will be tapped in. Alex Muil will get it. San Jose looking for the offside. It was driven in by Murillo, saved by Marcinkowski. Then just kind of hung in the six yard box. Muil was the first guy there. Wright Phillips could have tapped it in. But I will tell you that BWP unselfishly Realized it was going in anyway and gave the goal to Muil. Shotkovsky has Kaku to his right. He will take it. He will whip it in and it will deflect off of the back post and then deposit it into the net by Bradley Wright Phillips. Not more than about 90 seconds after he could have gotten his 20th goal, BWP on a crazy angle will get his 20th goal. Yeah, I wanted the header to go in. Would you I, I the assist or the goal? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, does that count to my assist? Huh? Um, yeah, I, um, I was just trying to get in a decent position in the box and, and get my head on something and it hit the post, come back to me. That, that's not really normal, but yeah, just try to get on target. Really. So far, so good for this New York Red Bull team on the road. What I was going to say was, uh, it's all of what makes us good, we're overwhelming them. We're playing in their end. The net's in place. This is what we are, and now you have to just ramp it up. It's like, you don't have to change much. What I love is we're having fun, Brad, but we can't let, can't let it slip. Don't let it slip. Counter press, press, repress, the same things that we're doing, keep going, right? We're, we're just, it's a, we're, we're in a mentality like we need a goal. Like we're pushing, we're pressing, we need a goal. Yes, we're going, we're going. Yeah, not just the first half, I thought the first, I'd say 60 minutes was good. You know, that's what we came up here to do, I think. We need to put them in a the game, you know, especially after the last game, how good the performance was against Atlanta. We wanted to carry on from there, and I think we've done that for the most part, but the team at home, you know, they've got some good players, they're going to push, and, you know, we rode the wave. Shotkowski set to take the corner for New York. Left-footed ball. Parker heading it up, and this is going into the back of the net. It is Aaron Long. Uh, yeah, it was great service. Uh, Tim flicked it on, uh, and I was lucky to get my head on it there. Um, a little center back connection, and I gave the BWP celebration in honor of him. So, yeah. Did he give you a for a while? Yeah, definitely. Did Do it in training. You, did he give you a critique of it? Was he was he giving you some pointers? Or? No, no, but we play a shooting game in training, and after I score, I usually do it, so it kind of came natural there. Do you think Brad's going to pull out the bullhorn celebration now? Uh, no chance. No chance. I got trademark on that, so he's not allowed. And here comes Kaku on the move. Etienne. Down the left line, cuts back to his right. Three touches, longest one for Wright Phillips, 25 yards out. Etienne will take a shot. Uh, I think, uh, you know, in the second half, I th they kind of got some of the uh, momentum. And, uh, you know, that's natural when a team's down uh, three goals at home. Uh, they're kind of going to they're gonna push very hard, and, and luckily we're able to soak up most of that pressure. But, you know, for us, we want to make sure we can stay on the front foot and, and hopefully next time the, uh, the aggressors. the whistle. 
Plays it towards the back post. Wondolowski is there and finishes. Yeah, uh, we really wanted the shutout. We talked about it at halftime. It was it was first and foremost on our minds, and I think they got the better of us second half a little bit there. So um, we were under a lot of pressure, and I think it was it was a goal that we're not happy giving up for sure. But I mean, Wando's a great player. He finds space. So congratulations to him. The reason you're up three nothing is because you came and you started the game the way we know we can play. The second half, it's it's difficult. I mean, we're not keeping the ball off the field. We, we we let things slip. We'll look at it and we'll learn once again, guys. We're not happy to give up a goal. We're not happy to have like to, to in chase in the second half. It could have been better. It could have been six, but whatever. More so. For me, guys, you came on the road, came a long way. You have a good mentality to start the game. That gets you the points. We're, we're, we're now putting the pressure on these guys. We're just going to keep pushing. Them.